Hey guys, welcome to another lunch time review. Today I'm going to try this new Hot Pockets Deli Witch. This is thaw or heat. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a cheese melt on a pretzel roll. So it's pretzel roll with cheese, uh, 12 grams of protein, take it to go. Um, let's see, it's 12.6 ounces, 360 grams. There are four sandwiches in the box. And I think it's neat these are made by Hot Pockets. It's kind of cool. Uh, we bought these at Meijer. They were $4.49. And um, yeah, for four sandwiches, what, just a little over a dollar a piece. It's not too bad. Um, let's see. They're 300 calories per sandwich, and there's your info for you. Each sandwich looks like it's 90 grams. Uh, there's ingredients if you want those as well. Again, Tammy always puts um, directions on there. I mean, uh, pictures on the end of the video, so if you want to watch them. So there's two ways to heat this up. Let me turn you down. So you can thaw this at room temperature, so basically just take it out with you in the morning when you... Uh, when you go to work and uh, leave it in your bag and then it'll be ready to eat by the time you get uh, ready to eat for lunch. Um, it says at least two hours and eat it within four hours. So it's not too bad. And then if you put it with an ice pack, let it sit for four hours and you eat within seven hours. So I, me personally, I would take it out in the morning before I left, just throw it in a bag um, and then just eat it at lunch. That's what I would do. These are still frozen. So just to let you know, mine are still frozen. So we're gonna remove the sandwich from the wrapper and place on a microwave safe plate. Cook on high for 45 to 60 seconds if the sandwich is frozen or 15, 10 to 15 seconds if the sandwich is thawed. So you can heat it up a little bit if you want to. I can't imagine eating a, a pretzel and cheese with uh, just thawed out. I'd rather have it hot personally, but that's just me. So 45 to 60 seconds from frozen. I will probably do, um, I'll probably do 55 just to, just to be safe. And you can only, you only do one at a time. So, uh, so yeah, I think, I think, I think 55 is probably going to be good for me. It does have a pull tab. That's cool. It did much good, but still have to fight to get the bag open or the box open. Okay, so here's what they look like in the package. Since I have to take this out anyway, I can see that this is going to leak all over the place. Do they all look like them? Yeah, they're all open on the ends. Okay, I'm going to open this. It's going to make some noise. They do have the directions on the bag. That's nice. Yeah, they're open-ended pretzels, so they're just wrapped, but they're not sealed on the ends. So what's going to happen is as this heats up, it's going to run everywhere. So I'm going to get this on a plate and get it in the microwave, and I'll be back. Okay, right, so here it is out of the microwave. And I have to be honest, it didn't run as much as I thought it did at all. And, um, yeah, I thought it would really run out the edges, but it didn't. Let me cut it in half and see. It's got that kind of uh, tough, chewy pretzel shell so that's a good thing how thick is it eh, not too bad you get some decent size uh, a decent amount of cheese it's not the cheese i guess that really runs and and uh turns into liquid that's a good thing so i'm going to cut this into smaller pieces so i can try them on video normally i'll probably well i may have cut these if i eat them uh, on my own without doing the video but I don't know. I would have to see see how hot they get. Because what happens usually with Hot Pockets is they're so hot in the middle that you can't hardly eat them. <laughs> so uh, so anyway, so I'm going to um, let this cool off for just a minute. I ended up doing it for 53 seconds just because I was afraid to go 55. But um, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I let it cool off for just a minute. I'm going to just take a bite. I like the amount of salt on these. They, do, they did put some salt on the top, which who wants a pretzel without salt? I mean, that's just sacrilege. Mm. Nice chewy texture on the pretzel. Um, it's good and soft in the center, but then it has that like tough skin on it, like a pretzel, like a soft pretzel does. So that's really nice. Um, I get the texture of the cheese. Hmm. Sorry, it's a, it's a lot of chew. I get a little bit of a cheddar cheese flavor, but it's not like a, a really strong, rich cheddar cheese flavor. I wonder if that's the kind of cheese they use. I'm assuming it is. Yeah, cheddar cheese is what the number one ingredient, or the number one cheese is. Um, didn't really say much else. I like the salt content. It's not as salty as you would think it would be. There's quite a bit of salt on top, but it's not like really, really salty. And um, the cheese is not really, really cheesy, so.
I tell you what though, I like it. I think if you like a, uh, this is a good alternative to like a grilled cheese sandwich. So if you wanted something a little different than a grilled cheese sandwich and you wanted something somewhat cheesy, but had a little bit of different texture, you like that pretzel roll texture better than just bread. I think this is a good thing to try. Um, the textures are really nice. It's like I said, it's got a little bit of a chewiness to it, but the bread itself is very, very soft. Um, the cheese is not, um, it's not too dense or chewy or anything like that. It does have a decent texture to it. Yeah, you, you can tell you're actually chewing something. And um, the flavors are nice. Honestly, I wish it had a little bit more salt to it for me. I, I like, like I said, I really like a salty, salt, uh, soft pretzel. Um, so for me, it could use a little bit more salt, but you may find it perfect for the amount of salt it has. Um, I don't really have anything bad to say about them, honestly. I can't, like I said, I can't imagine eating these like just thawed out. Um, I'd want to have them heated up, but if you didn't want to have them heated up, you could just thaw them out and eat them just the way they are. You don't have to heat them up at, at, at all. They don't have to be warm in the least bit. Um, I would guess, I'm just guessing, that the pretzel bread would be a little tougher to chew if it's not heated up, and the cheese itself would, would be a little more dense. Uh, it wouldn't be quite as soft. So I think it would change the texture a little bit, but not the, necessarily the flavor of it. Overall, I like these. I'm gonna give them a four out of five. I really do like them. Um, I think 300 calories for one sandwich. It seems a little high, but then again, you're getting quite a bit of uh, the pretzel bread and you're also getting a decent amount of cheese too. So I'm not gonna complain about it. I think they're decent. Um, so I'm gonna give them a four out of five. Try them out if you like, like I said, the kind of the grilled cheese kind of thing. Um, if you don't like real, really like grilled cheese, you probably won't like these. But if you like a good grilled cheese, Try them out. I think you might like them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, it's later for me, but it's seconds for you. Um, I said I wanted to try this sandwich out. Um, I tried it out hot or heated up, but I hadn't tried it just thawed. So, um, and I said, I don't know how much of a difference it would make. So I thought I would just come back and tell you what a difference it would make. So what I've done with this sandwich is I've just taken it out of the freezer. Let me open it. I've taken it out of the freezer, um, put it in the refrigerator for um, probably four hours or so just to kind of thaw it out and then I took it out of the refrigerator and put it on the counter for about half an hour so it's still cool but it's not like cold so this is what it looks like it looks pretty much the same it feels okay it still feels a little um chewy but I don't know what the cheese is gonna be like so here we go It's a little thicker to eat it. Um, so I can tell you right now, even just out of one bite, it's better heated up. The cheese still has a nice flavor though. It just has a thicker texture. So the, the pretzel bread itself is a denser, thicker texture when you're not heating it up. It's kind of like eating a soft pretzel, whether you get it warmed up or you get it just at room temperature. Um, that's the difference in the texture of this. It's the uh, it's not bad um, at room temperature, but it isn't um, as good as it would be if it's heated. So is it edible, cool, or thawed? 100%. You can do it do it thawed. It's fine. But um, is it better heated up? That's definitely. Although you do get more of that chewy uh, pretzel flavor or texture when it's just thawed. So yeah, better heated up, but doable thawed. So I hope you enjoyed. 